much of anything else. It looks like we're getting ready to get started on table one. Yeah, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> I was dying to see that kick shot, though, by Skyler. And we'll get to see it, of course. He's going to go that route we were talking about. Okay, then wins the leg. <laughs> okay, you folks back home. Skyler did play the uh, short, long rail route and did manage to hit the two ball. Wukun Lin That's gets right. to break first. Wukun Lin to break. And the last time we saw him in such a Hatru Marina event, semifinal against Sufi, and he didn't play his, his best game. He had an incredible tournament. What a story, Sufi. Sufi was and still is, actually. World Nine Bowl Championship and then a Euro Tour win right after. Yeah, beating FSR in the final. Yeah, Sufi, he will be back. He's invited for, well, he's played himself into the World Pool Masters. It's not like he had an invite because it's a nice story. I mean, he just gained enough points. He's in through the rankings. Very interested to see how his game will evolve. He's very raw, Sufi is, you know, and uh, interested For to example. see his ability to get that fine balance between a little more savvy at the table, but at the same time, fearless. Yeah, keep the energy, I think. Shane, your choice. Shane doesn't even get out from the chair. Please reset the shot clock to 30 seconds. This shot on the jump definitely offers a little bit of a reward, it looks like. I think he can move the cue ball to get on the three if he pockets the two. For all this, though, stun forward. A lot of elevation. Look at that. Wow. Wow, what a jump. Beautiful. Yeah, and I'm kind of curious that he was obviously willing to take on the jump. I wonder why he rolled out, period, really. I thought it was a little easier jump from where it was at. Maybe wanting to make the jump more difficult, just in case Shane did take it. Extension cold. This is where killing the ball becomes difficult. Throw this in with outside English, touchy shot. Could run one rail towards the nine. There's an opportunity as well to hold the cue ball. Take it with some outside English. Nice. Hit that ball very good. Went clean in the heart of the pocket. Always addressing the cue ball low, and then if he needs to hit center ball or higher, he'll sort of drop his back arm, coming in higher on the cue ball. Watching him warm up, which I've watched him play before. Very left eye dominant player. A little different. A lot of the Chinese Taipei players are, are taught to put the cue stick in the middle of the chin. Or excuse me, maybe left eye dominant, but train the eyes to get used to the cue. The chin. It's always interesting to me. I didn't know that actually. Of course, they start at a very young age for the most part, so it makes that you know kind of system easier. Boy, getting straight here. Hmm. Yeah, we said it before. Table is on the slow side. But far from a slow start for Wukun Lin. 
Won the leg, pushed out, got it back, jumped the first ball in. And then cruised to a 1-0 lead if this nine goes down. There it is. Started with that beautiful jump. A really nice three ball right afterwards. Got himself in a great position and then cleared the table. Four three on Sky Woodward. Third with Sky to break in the game. In game number eight. So SVB to break. A very seasoned campaigner, Bukun Lin. A regular high finisher. He has the game to go all the way. Rack two. Shane Van Moaning to break. Trailing one rack to nil. Hmm. This is close to being a carom. Yeah, I'd have to hit it with some speed, but it definitely, I think, is a playable shot. Got to come across the one. Maybe with a flick of left English, too. I don't know. So the carom is on, but as Jeremy said, he would need a lot of speed on the cue ball. It's, it's wild. It's a wild shot to attack. Going to attack it, though. Well, or what he looked at is banking the one off of the nine back down table. I think he feels like he's going to get the one back anyways playing the kiss shot. It may end up kissing the cue ball when the cue ball comes off the nine. We'll see what he was trying, but caught it way thick. Now it's left a one nine. And a route, an angle for the cue ball to go down table. So does he go all in or include the defense here? Extension code. Yeah, good shot. Shane Van Boning wins the rack. Good shot by SVB. I would like to see that 1-9 position again that Wukun Lin played. Because in hindsight, I realized there was more space between the 1 and 9 than I figured beforehand. Break format. Yeah, it couldn't be any other way, really. Yeah, if you're absolutely. playing races to five. Yeah, so rack many three. matches. Who can then to break? Scores are tied, one rack each. Just coming around that nine ball with the cue ball. Yeah, he's going to love this starter on the two. He's got an open center of the table. So draw two rails off the two ball. Pretty easy position on the three. Now hit low left. 
you can hit it a little fat on purpose use a little bit more pocket needs an angle would like to have an angle on the four got enough to cheat it to get to the long rail maybe can he get cheated enough to play from underneath the four to the side maybe he's looking at the four five combo i think but that's pretty off angle an extension call an extension called an extra 30 seconds for wukun lin he was looking at that line to the side pocket on the left. On an older cloth, it's easy to blast it, play stun run through with the right spin. Here, not so much, but he did well. He did too good, actually. These players, of course, know that they do have a little time to make up some ground in this format. But they want to get to playing their best pool as quick as possible. Good combination. Go full. He didn't get the four safe. Ricocheting off the nine. Bit of a mistake there. Corner pocket is not on, I feel. Going to roll this otherwise. Extension cord. To the side pocket. If he plays the side pocket for the four with a high ball, that nine ball comes into play. Foul. It's always a difficult way to play it, I thought, with speed. All in roll hand. that maybe. Please start the clock. Yeah, so the way that he missed the shot, that he fumbled the ball there, tells me or gives me the impression at least that he wasn't decided on how to play it exactly. If a player of Shane's caliber, if, if I cannot really see what the intention was, then I feel he sort of disintegrated on the shot. Got just the perfect bounce there, not making the six too difficult, but easier position on the seven. Off the rail. Looking good, Bukun Lin. Run the cue ball for the side, but play for the corner, I believe. He hits the balls crisp. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Sha Ching Wu when he does his warm up strokes with the so low on the cue ball. For some reason, I feel it's a thing you see lefties do a lot when they do their warm up strokes that they're low on the cue ball. Take a quick break. I'll be back for rec four. Welcome back to the morning side arena where four. Shane Van Boning is Shane breaking. Boning to break. Races to five. To one. one big group of 60 players made it to Leicester. And over the first five days, they'll each play 50 to matches to see who's in the top 10. 
and the bottom six players will be eliminated. Yeah, I watched Shane practice and rarely made the one in the side breaking, which is pretty odd for him. There again, a dry break to open. Made, made two on the break here, but no shot on the one. Oh, roll Push out, out cold. Playing all the way to the left rail, I feel. Ooh. He made that look easier than it actually was. Like the, the, the speed on this oh, roll shot. Out, yeah. yeah. He sort of two stroked it. Control passed. Please reset. Or hit it. Off. Really made the kick on the one much more difficult. Spin into it. I don't know if that really offers much. Trying to rip at the three here. Really nice. Yeah, acknowledged by Wukun Lin. He's looking at the kick. Mm. Going to take on the long rail bank here. You certainly don't want to open up the eight and nine in any kind of manner. If he plays the bank, he Extension has a cool. second chance to make that three on the way back. Good effort. Really nicely struck, holding the cue ball, and he's going to get a little reward, it looks like. Bit covered up. Yeah. All right. First four shots from here are easy. It's all about figuring out what to do on the eight ball. Trying to look and see really where the seven's at. If you could play the seven on the top side pocket if you're looking at your screen. That's a nice way to go into the eight nine with a little angle. You wouldn't want to do it in the lower side pocket on your screen. It's possible from that angle, but better from the other side. So if you could come across here. That you can do it from either side pocket, but the one that the other side is a little friendlier. You got to go off of a full, pretty foolish hit off the seven, right? Play yeah. For the other side, right? If he goes, if he stays on the left side, he has less margin. So this is where you could get a little kind of like double kiss on the nine if you're going into the nine ball. I wouldn't play it too nicely. I wouldn't try finesse position. No. Go a little bit. But this is tough. Nice Extension arc on that cue ball. When he fired in the seven. A lot of power. Shot that Shane practices quite often. Shot. Never hit the side. Very clean. Back four started with a nice kick shot off of a pass push out. Shane wins the rack. Yeah, good rack. You said it, Double J. He practices that shot a lot. Whenever I see Shane practice, he's just firing in big shots. Yeah, yeah, he definitely. Uh, like this shot on the eight would be one of the more finesse shots that he would practice. Right, right. The rest would be harder or more spin. Yeah, he likes to practice the elevated shots off the in rail lot, top inside, stunning the ball, drawing the ball. Shane, he wants the balls to lay tough. That's, that's what he likes about it. That's how he likes it. And I think uh, with the new rules, it uh, sets up well for him. 
On table two, Konrad Juszczyszyn from Poland is now playing Woodward. Woodward lost his opening match against the Elban Ocean. And now trailing one to zero. Today, the opening day in Leicester. A lot of pool to be played. Five days, 50 matches for each, each player, and then the, the 10 best we'll come into break. in the standings will advance. Scores are tied, two racks each. Bump in position. Yeah, Wu has made one in the side each of his first three breaks. Push out on one where he made a beautiful jump shot. Most part, you got to give the breaking edge so far to him. Not easy to get from the three to the four. It's difficult to get on the lower side of the line on the three. Got to play a little bit of a gambling angle to, you know, it'll play the three with a little speed where he goes by the nine in between the four, six, a couple rails up. Or excuse me, between the five, six, a couple rails up for the, for the four. Oh, yeah, from this angle, that seems to be the shot. Extension You're very cool. good at reading the angles. Yeah. I feel, because from the other angle, I thought draw yeah. and go into the nine and then yeah. make it zip back the cue ball, but that's not on, actually. Yeah, I think he can get just a little past center table somewhere around there. Gonna have to hit this one pretty hard to get by the nine. A little bounce effect off the three. Looking at coming two rails long between the five, six, and then back between the six, eight. Tip up a little bit. High ball. A funny kiss off the floor. Shot. Well, I still from here. I, I still think he did well. Yeah, yeah. He had to take a little chance there. And that cue ball gets funky when you go into the rail with speed and topspin. We yeah. saw it arc a little bit. And that's always off a thicker hit that it, it's uh it can act a little unpredictable. Nice. If, if the speed, if. it's going to hurt. Oi, oi, oi. We heard the referee say five seconds. Type of shot, easy to two rail and come above this just a hair and missed the entire ball. Learn to not add spin to these at all. Oh, yeah. With that angle, spin is too aggressive. And he got away with it, yeah. And that's it. Anytime you hit the ball, you have a chance to get lucky. I feel in general, especially on a lower level, players try to do some YouTube stuff on every kick shot. Sometimes you just need to make Extension sure to hit cool. it. Difficult curve, this. Long ways away from the ball is curving around, which always makes it more difficult. Mm. That tells you how tight the pockets play. Hit it well. Needs to focus on this one. You can't take it for granted. The position. And this is because he hit it 4% too thick. Yeah. It's, it's very marginal. Yeah, sometimes you can over hit that and have the cue ball kind of uh -huh. act the same. 
but there I, I agree with you. I think the speed of the swing was pretty good. Just catching the five a little thick. Recovery there. Yeah, good shot. Anytime it holds its line so straight coming across, you know, you hit it pretty pure. It raising up just a little. So it's gonna be a yeah, so if he if he addresses one tip below center, it's going to be topspin. And it seems like he starts it even lower and then comes up just a little bit with each pre-stroke into that little bit below center like you were talking about, Alex. How about the nine? A little bit? No. Yeah. Good wreck by Wu Kun Lin. All top players here in the PLP in Leicester, but some um, look a little fresher and a little more fit than others. Wu Kun Lin is one of them. Yeah, I'd have to tell you, look at it just for a second, but I would think 14 or 15 of these players came from Vegas. Yeah, that's no joke. Nine, no, uh, eight hour time difference, right? That's right. Yeah. Khalid, I think, wasn't in Vegas. That's the only one I can remember right offhand. I'm sure we'll see him play Shane later on, maybe. Yeah, he plays Shane in the match after this. Uh, Khalid Al Gandhi, he was actually the winner of the inaugural uh, SVB Junior Championship. I can't recall the exact title of the tournament uh, SVB junior open junior open yeah. yes okay. it was held at the US Open uh, alongside that and Khalid of course played in the US Open as well I believe and talking about the uh, SVB junior open we'll have a Jason Shaw junior open also and the uh, entries will open at 2 p.m. on Act Tuesday six. the 7th Shane Van Boning to break trailing three racks to two and Jason Shaw will be participating in a Balkan Tour event, 17th till 19th of March. Moscone Cup tickets will go on sale on the 24th of April. And the Shane World Tour Masters tickets and UK Open tickets are on sale yeah. as we speak. A golden break here from SVB. And uh, has anyone had more golden breaks since the break rule has changed? Than SVB? Like yeah. I don't think anyone's even close. Uh, yeah. Did make the one in the side. So Woodward in the back checking out SVB's golden break. No, we started as a race to five, now a race to two. Every match counts. Well, basically, if you're playing 50 matches, what I would tell myself, you Rack know, ju seven. just do your thing. Try, we'll come but it's the, um, Scores are tight. if you play Three decent ratings. or good and you lose the match, that's okay. But it's about the unforced errors. Like a missed eight ball where you can go up 4-2 and then ending up losing the match. Those are the ones that will haunt you. But easier said than done, because if you're playing decent, but you lose two, three matches, it'll be hard to uh, keep a positive frame of mind. One ball in the side again for Wu Kun Lin. And he got a little action on the nine. He's got a great shot on the two, but the three, four, pretty tied up. Not a lot of angle going forward to get, you know, produce something on the three, maybe a cross corner bank of some sort. Can't draw back to get some offensive. 
Well, I like, and, and if he would just make the two stay on that side of the table and overcut the three as a safety. Swing the cue ball round back up table. Is he looking Extension at the two call. in the corner to try and open the three, four, I think. Tying up anyways. Well, hats off to him if he plays that. One good thing, it looks pretty natural with the draw stroke and he doesn't have to kill it. Just needs a little bump on the three or the, or the four. Nice try. About the two a hair thick to the pocket, so that tells you maybe the little stretch to open up the three four. There's a catch in the top of the three. Nice. Roll there in the full snooker. Was it easy to control the three ball? And he had to stun off that ball. Yeah, That's exactly. why controlling the yeah. three was tough. Just rolling the ball, controlling the three is kind of expected, and players should, you know, come away with it. But he made that look a little easier than it really extension was. Extension cool. The jump cue here. I don't think the pocket's available with the eight. There, interesting jump shot to me. Wow. Yeah, that was his intention, holding the cue ball down table, ball letting, letting the ball run into the eight. Yeah, I didn't mind the kick myself, but just because there was a lot of traffic down here, a lot of good things could happen, and Shane does kick at the ball really well. Now, just keep controlling the cue ball, and he should get himself to the hill first. Couldn't have minded a little angle here to play the five on the opposite side. You know, looks like he's got to draw the cue ball back. Well, he's, he's not drawing, it seems. That way. Yeah, and he was addressing the cue ball just one tip below center, so right. I knew he was going forward. <laughs> well, I wonder why he wouldn't, if he had that angle, why he didn't just draw up and play the five on the opposite side with such a clear open side of the table where the seven's at. That's interesting to me. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he put himself in a funny spot. Unless you play to the corner. Feel a little awkward. Draw this back. I don't know if he can play for the side. May draw this back to the railway where he's standing. Come back out. Pinch it out, I guess. Yeah, take a longer eight ball. Hmm. So he did draw, but not convincingly. Yeah, kind of in between there, I thought. I mean, if you're going to come backwards, normally you'd go ahead and try and get premium. Yeah, position yeah, there, right? rip it. Yeah. Drop. All nice with a lot of confidence and some big shots. Yeah, good wreck by Mukunlin. He played a good, a courageous two ball, opening up the three and four, not getting shaped. Then he played a nice, touchy safety on the three ball. And SVB a little unlucky with the scratch. And then with ball in hand, Wu Kun Lin didn't exactly cruise to victory in that wreck. Still had to come with shots. On the hill now and SVB to break. And we're going to have a lot of 5-4 matches, a lot of hill hill matches go along this event. Of course, as the days go, you feel like they're more important, but uh, all these are important just from the start of this event. So. 
one at a time by today's Monday by Wednesday players will start to count unless they have a real bad start like if someone right. is 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 losing three out of four right. on the first two days then they'll start right. calculating I guess and even then it's still early right. if you if you played four out of 15 matches yeah. One in the side, first time for SVB. Playable pocket here. Got an upper corner. Easy there. Safety's not real easy either with the cue ball near the rail. He clipped the two and try and go one rail behind the, the five. Looks like he's taking all the shot to me. Nice, beautiful. Very good shot. Still work to do with that seven being so close to the nine. I don't think it goes. Yeah, that would be ideal. A good angle on the six for the six eight combination and then bumping that seven into an open position with the guaranteed shape on the six. Wants to get to where he can hit this light, though, if he's going to do that. He's going to maybe open off the six or play underneath position on the seven. Just to lay on the rail anywhere. But yeah, nice. Six open. He's so good at these types of shots. Close to the rail, the six. Those are all. Shot. Now, this has looked pretty straightforward, but his control on the six and then how he opened the seven nine is really, he's really consistent doing that. Even on top level, one out of eight times a player would fail to get the required position. So if I wins the rack. SVB hardly ever. Now good fight. SVB keeping himself in the match. A good break and a beautiful run out. Started out with that difficult two ball. And now all the pressure shifting back to Vukun Lin. Yeah, and so many matches these players have to play. What do you, without the crowd here, right? You gotta, you gotta remind yourself to stay focused, right? Create your own energy, you might say. Yeah, good point. Deciding rat. Who can then to break? So last rack. Vukun Lin is playing another match in this afternoon session on table two against Alex Peggy Lyon. To all the focus now to this one. One rack getting the first match point on the board. Look at that. Look at that. But the four ball comes in. Wow. Yeah, he's been really consistent with the one so far. Making it, I think, each of his breaks. And just inches away from the two before the four decided to get involved. He's got some cover. Hell, but. I don't think he can roll out too far over there now. I'll, I'll have a look at it here in a moment, but that area is okay. But if he rolls out too far, is there some type of kiss shot on the four in the side? Off the two? Push out cold. It's an awkward shot that you wouldn't shoot very often, but if he goes past center table here, you uh, see that four ball? Oh, yeah, right? uh, yeah, Karen. Yeah, kiss shot, yeah. Karen on it. 
That's why he had to make sure he didn't go past center table Shane, and no don't choice. give up the bottom of the ball. Nice. Tricky. He can so slice the two and make the cue will come back. What else? Yeah, sometimes you just have to try and get the one ball snooker here, maybe with using the nine. I don't know. Coming oh. back towards the seven with the cue ball. Or, or, or the cue ball towards the five if the two ball wouldn't be too speedy. No, oh, that's not too bad. Problem is, you know, when you have the six, eight and all that, if you let them see any of it, you have real problems as far as uh, uh, the safety and return for Shane. But hey, Blue's got to love that. Yeah. Super Su nice hit. Super nice hit. And also, he was aware that the scratch was looming large. Right. But, you know, a tricky position, tricky push out. You need to take that risk. Really nice uh, hit on the two ball containing that, not opening up a shot. Extension the snooker on top of it. But still, this jump with the eight and six behind the two ball, anything can happen here. Anything. Wow. Unread Jushishin is the Schuyler Woodward. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked about potential dark horses in this PLP. I was coming, you know, or waking up this morning thinking who it could be. Yushishin. I'll tell you, I've, I've seen him the last six or eight, ten months being as good a form as extension I've ever seen cool. him be in as well. So yes, extension cool. He was one of my dark horses in Poland to make a deep run for the Polish contingent. Didn't work out, but why is he looking at two some kind of way? Seven? I thought it'd be in, a cross corner bank here. Into the rail. But he's far away. Really going for a tough shot there. Mm. Didn't hit it terribly. No, that was hard. I think I would have liked the kiss shot a little more, like the two into the rail, into the seven. But it was all tough with that distance. It was a good jump also by Shane. Yeah. Yeah, very good. I think that was definitely what he was intending, trying to separate the two. And uh, a little funny getting on the four. We'll see. Cross corner bank on the two. Smart. Look, gain the angle to get over a little better for the five, I think. Two. Taking a little bit of extra time, just making sure. He has won this match, but still needs to win it. You know, high quality from both players here. I like the way they're starting the PLP. Well, Shane has done really well to win this match. Been trailing. Vukun Lin has played good. Keep it in the pocket there. Power to move the cue ball off that side rail towards the eight. Looks like just a full stroke here to finish. Yeah, nice. Did enough. And so, so, mind you, what he did there, this was not a straight draw stroke, was like stun draw. You don't want full acceleration on the cue ball on this TV table. Good match by Shane. Shane. Wins the match. Very Five good match. Solid stuff by both players. And SVB overcoming the Chinese Taipei challenger. 5-4 for Shane.